This video illustrates the use of Inventor in finding the displacement and draft of my boat. I have my example boat here and you'll notice that the steering assembly mount off of the stern of my boat is missing and that's because even though the steering assembly mount contributes to displacement, draft, and weight of my boat, it does not provide any buoyancy and therefore is not needed for these calculations. I've also left off the forward and aft bulkheads as well as the battery clips inside of my hull and that's because they also do not provide any buoyancy. The first thing I'm going to do to make the next operations a little bit easier in finding the water plane and station areas, I'm going to create a sketch on the top of my boat. I'm just going to connect the four corners of my hull. And now I'm going to extrude that so I have a prism. The depth of my hull is 12 inches, so I'm going to type in 12. I'm going to extrude it down, and I'm going to make a new solid. So now I have a prism completely surrounding the hull of my boat. I'm going to delete the hull plates from this prism, so I'm going to use the combine command. I'm going to choose cut. The base is my prism, and the tool bodies are my hull plates. I need the hull plates after this operation, so I'm going to keep the tool bodies and I'm going to select each of them. So the starboard plate, the bow plate, the bottom plate, the bow upturn plate, the port plate, and the stern plate. And now you can see that my prism has been cut by the hull plates. So I don't need this portion uh, at the bow, this triangular portion, so I'm going to choose delete face. I'm going to select lump or void. I'm just going to get rid of that. And now I'm going to turn back on the hull plates. And now I need to join all of them together. So I'm going to choose the combine command again. It's already selected on join. And I'm just going to select everything. So now I have one entire solid hull. Now the next thing I need to do is estimate my draft. The depth of my hull is 12 inches, so I'm going to estimate my draft at 6 inches. And the reason for this is because I will have 6 inches of freeboard left over, which is the minimum requirement per the guidelines. So I know if I uh, underestimate my draft and it's actually 7 inches, I know immediately that I need to redesign my boat uh, because I'm not uh, meeting my 6 inch freeboard requirement. Uh, so that way I don't have to do anything else, I won't find this out later. So I'm, I'm going to choose the worst case scenario first. Uh, since I only need the portion of the hull that is under the water that's uh, providing the buoyancy, uh, I only need up to my draft mark. So I'm going to choose split. I'm going to trim the solid. And I'm going to choose my six inch water plane. I'm going to remove everything above that. So now I'm left with the portion of my boat that's under the water. This is where I'm going to get my station and water plane areas from. Uh, I already actually have one of my water plane areas. It's my six inch water plane area. Uh, so I'm going to go to inspect area. I can just click that and it gives me the area of my design water plane. I can do that with any of the other uh, water planes just by turning on those. Or I can turn off the water plane and choose a station instead. So I'm just going to choose a station seven. I'm going to go split, trim solid. I'm going to choose station 7. I'm going to remove everything forward of that. <clears throat> and now I can go back to inspect area and there's my station 7 area. Uh, almost 145 square inches. And then I can just back up a little bit to get back to my original starting point. This is also my volumetric displacement right here. So I can just go to my hull, go to I properties. And even though it shows the entire original hull, uh, it will only calculate the portion that's actually a solid right now. Uh, so my volumetric displacement is right here in my volume. And that is how you use Inventor in finding displacement and draft.